some basic principles about how to use the progressive line in the pivot zone. As we mentioned in the first IHF online seminar, the referees must use not only punishments, but also their best body language and good information. For this reason, their experience will be very important. With or without progressive punishment, clear body language and information on what is allowed or what is not allowed, what is possible in handball or what is not possible in handball, are absolutely necessary. Both referees are responsible depending on the situation. This is also possible without interrupting the match. You have seen many times that uh, during the game, the referees are talking with some players, are doing some signals in the direction of some players. Then they try to send a clear message to the players without interrupting the game. Many times during the game, you can see the referees doing some mimic gesture, signals, talking with the players, explaining them what is wrong in that moment. But they let that the game continue. This is a positive method to give some advices to the player without interrupt the game. Now we will show you two good examples. You can see here how in one of the first attacks in the match, there is some duels in the pivot zone and then the goal referee interrupt the game to explain both players what is wrong in their behaviour and how they can play in the future, using the best body language and information. In the second video, also we are in the first moment of the match, and then another duel in the pivot zone, and then we can see how the defender is holding from behind and pulling down the pivot and according with the decision-making criteria we discussed in the first online seminar, the decision of the referee should be an immediately direct to mini suspension. We will talk now about fouls by pivot and defender at the same time. Look to the picture. Both defenders and attackers can be guilty. For this reason, proper punishment is very important from the very beginning, determining which player is to blame first and taking the decision. If the referees wait and wait, the situation will be worse and worse. To maintain full control of both players is absolutely necessary. We cannot forget the principle of action and reaction. If the referees don't punish the guilty player, the opponent will react using the same methods. Some referees use often double punishment to the defender and to the attacker. But it should be only the last solution. Dear referees, don't wait for magic solutions or the player to find solutions themselves. It never happens. And now, two video examples. You can see in the video we are in the first attack of the match, in the pivot zone. And then the referees must find who is the first guilty player. As you can see in the repetitions, in this case, the pivot is holding the t-shirt of the defender, provoking the seven meters decision. In this video, you can see one of the last tendencies in the pivot zone. The attacker is catching the ball with one hand, while with the other is holding the t-shirt of the defender and then at the end provoking the seven meters and the direct two-minute decision against the defender. We can see how the defender tried to explain the referees who is the guilty, but it's too late. In these cases, both referees are responsible to find the correct decision as soon as possible. How to use the decision-making criteria in duels in the pivot zone? In the pivot zone, referees have to observe more duels without ball. This graphic shows how the appropriate rules, rules 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, should be applied by the referees. It's included in the additional teaching material for this online seminar.
please read carefully this diagram. Now we will show you some videos about the most typical situation in the pivot zone, holding the opening for a long time and with the different decisions and we can compare what means rule 8.2, 8.3 and 8.4. In the video you can see a normal foul in a frontal position and then according with the rule 8.2 a free throw is enough. Of course the decision of the referees is wrong. In the next video we are also in the first moment of the match and then during all the attack you can see a permanent holding of the pivot. According with the rule 8-3, it's a good opportunity to show a yellow card. Seit dem vergangenen Sommer bei Pik Seget unter Vertrag. In this video, you can see the action of the defender long holding and pulling down the pivot without uh, any matter about the ball. And then, according with the rule 8-4, the only decision must be a tight two minutes immediately. Important is to see the body language and the information of the goal referee. Practically, he repeats exactly the same action than the defender player. We are now in women's handball, but more or less the same situation than, than before. The defender is guilty of long, long holding and strong pulling down to the pivot without any option for the ball. And then, again, rule 8-4 must be applied, direct to minutes immediately, and then to send a message to the player, sorry, this is humble, no wrestling.